Yes, yes, yes. What up? What up? And what is up? It is. Back. It We're is. Back, y'all. Back. Back. So three. So three. Happy Sunday, y'all. Yeah, holla, holla, holla. Holla. <laughs> holla. Holla, holla. Oh, gosh, man. it feels good to be back. But consistency. This is what it is. This is what the Red Show brothers are delivering to y'all. We deliver it. Y'all ask for it. We deliver. Exactly, exactly. So, yes, it's Red Show brothers. We are on that episode three. And just to it's let um, the people. 30. Yeah, for free. And it's really amazing because, as we said, if you go back to our first episode, we started. A lot of people don't know, but they're going to know now. We started the Retro Boys almost two years to this day. Almost. January. This one, we started it. Honestly, yes, so, yeah, yeah, honestly, it feels good to see where we've come from, not just only on the podcast, but on our YouTube channels mm-hmm. and just the like general, like a big mm-hmm. mode. Also, big mode. Like yes, a consistency. It's a consistency, it's the way forward, honestly. Right. Yes, yes. So, all right, so, but before speak with Jamal, please, and tell me how's the 2024 been for you? How's this year been for you? Uh, 2024. Thing. It's going r- really well for me. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, of course, the podcast and yeah. you know my personal life, and just yeah. raising, you know, having a family, yeah, having kids, mm-hmm. yeah, just everything's going, everything's going well. So, yes. just trying to stay focused, trying to be consistent, put out this work, yeah, myself yeah. busy. That's it. Keep it busy, yeah, honestly. Balance, you know, balance yeah. personal life and just being a content creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, we've, um, as I said, uh, we've had um, numerous episodes where we talked about, like, uh, we're content creators, but we just try to stay in our lane. Uh, we ain't trying to copy a trend just to right. be, like, successful. We have our ways. The way we started on like YouTube and starting this is that's the way we will be on <laughs> right, this way. Right. Yeah, like yeah. we're not faking or perpetrating <laughs> like one hundred percent us. This is we're just genuine about yeah um what we put out, you know mm-hmm. we're just not doing it for a train or we're just not doing it just because we we just like it. We just love good content and good yeah. Good yeah, shows man. and movies and movies. cartoons. Yeah. A whole nine yards. A whole nine yards. No, yeah. I love that. Yes. No, honestly. So, even speaking cartoons, um, uh, plug in here, uh, Spotify, Retro Brothers uh, podcast. Check that out. Spotify. We're going to put it on. Both of us are on YouTube. The yeah. GQ Jamal. Yes, sir. He's on YouTube. In the house. Yeah, the proud, the proud owner, I should say the CEO of Wayfarer. Oh. Q E B. Yeah. Exactly. Rich so, teams in the house. Rich teams in the house. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Make sure you definitely check both of our YouTube, uh, DQ Jamal, Rich Man Z. You can even find little, like, trinkets, little clips. Of what we put out on the podcast as well. And as I said, definitely um, for the viewers and the listeners, listeners, because so much of y'all there, definitely get in contact with us on our social media. We're both on Instagram and we're both on TikTok as well. So it would be nice to hear your feedback on uh, the content we're producing. Yes, excellent. All right. So, yeah. So, Okay, so to just go back from seasons, we were on season one, which is a very good like comeback. Uh, season two, I should say, season two, episode one was a cool like comeback. You could yeah. Jamal, remember on the on the first episode? On the first episode, we mm-hmm. started off um, um, hip hop artists uh, yes. transition transition yes. to actors and yes. and the fem- like female. Um, Hip hop artists and yeah. female singers transitioning mm-hmm. to um, actors, so that was a good that was a good way to start off the season. Yeah. And yeah. Um, briefly, we just talked like you know the notable like Will Smith. Obviously, he's like one of the biggest yeah um, hip hop artists turned actors or um, rest in 
piece Tupac Shakur. Yeah. On his way to become like a promising actor. Mm hmm. You know, Queen Latifah. She's yeah. um, another ra great rapper. To yeah. Actress. Not so, a doubt. So that, that was on um, episode one. Yeah. Yes, so it's great. And yeah, no, GQ, brilliant. GQ Jamal brilliant said, and like we hit it with um episode two, which was a really fun one. Um, oh, looking yeah. at like the best like uh, animated black uh, characters. Uh, we mentioned like great uh, TV animated series from like um, uh, Baby Kids, of course. Uh, you know, with the Boondogs, Proud yeah. Family, and we looked at cool characters like Gerard from Hey Arnold. Superhero, static shock. <laughs> Can I get a woo woo? <laughs> so, yeah, so that was a brilliant. So, folks, on that episode, once the switches went off, once the cameras and the order went off, me and my man, G. Kuchima, we talked about family matters. And that's going to be the theme of today's episode, season two, episode three. We're going to be looking at if family truly matters, <laughs> so family matters. You know, I do that. I do that. Yeah, family yeah, matters, that. aka the Steve Urkel show. Steve Urkel show. Oh my it God. Really, so, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I, uh, this yeah. Be, um, yeah. What do you think of? And what are your thoughts about family matters? Oh, family like, matters. What's your first like impression? I mean, first. first yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So if you go back. Um, I saw this, it was maybe just after Fresh Prince had finished, because mm -hmm. for many people who grew up in the 90s, when Fresh Prince came on screen, it was that and Simpsons that, like, dominated mm -hmm. the 90s. Once it finished, there was, like, this void, like, it wasn't right. really, like, a main sitcom in it. So I stumbled onto Family Matters, aka yeah. <laughs> Steve Urkel <laughs> Show. Why <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> And it, it was funny because um, I, it, when I first saw this DQ, um, mm -hmm. she, uh, the main actor, uh, Jalil White, who yeah. again, we're going to talk more about him, he had appeared in the last season of Fresh Prince. Mm -hmm. So even this time I was like in elementary, I was like, I, I was going to say, I've seen this guy before. This is the guy who was on the date with Ashley. I uh, fresh friends. Yeah, you know, yeah, I forgot that episode existed. Yeah, 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 he was. He was on the fresh friends. Oh my man. Yeah. So I was there. I saw him there first, and mm -hmm. then I saw him as Steve Urkel. And yep. all right, like my honest opinion, when I first saw the suspenders, the glasses, the yeah, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> did I do? I was not a fan. Like I was just, I was like, this is corny, you know. I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, take it. over time as we're gonna discuss about it. I have more appreciation for it, right. more of the era it was in. But that was, yeah, that was my first um, uh, series. I think I came in watching it around the mid season, so like that season mm -hmm. four, season five, where they were a bit older in their like, older, mid yep. teenagers. Yeah, that was my first one, and. GQ Jamal was your first uh, <laughs> first introduction my, to my Family first, Matters. Yeah, my first um, person of Family Matters, like first time I've seen it. Because um, I think I caught it on syndication. Because, yeah. you know, I was, we were too young when when the first run, really the yeah. first time it was aired. Mm -hmm. So. So um, I remember ABC Family played the show, mm -hmm. and it came on like at six o'clock in the morning before I uh, went to okay. school. And all I can just remember is just this like skinny, nerdy kid with a high top, like a little low, not like a high yeah. top fade, but it was like it was like that little mid, block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he had suspenders, and he had like high water pants, oh, um, these bowling shoes, oh, <laughs> bowling Kmart shoes, like Kmart. This is Kmart from um, top of the line, buddy. Top of the line, buddy. Hey, that, was class, that, that was a class. That was a class act. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Like, oh, oh, don't, don't start in it. But yeah. no, that's all, that's all I can remember. Like, yeah. man, like overalls. Yeah, like. Mm. And he was just this annoying, yeah. like, 
kids that just came to your house unannounced and like did not care. Yeah. And yeah. like and he was just, he was funny, like Urkel, like in the early seasons. He, yeah. he was funny until he just got it obnoxious. It's a very obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was like adorable in like the first son he was like young. Right, like a durable kid, and later on, it just was like I was because the, when I first saw it, I thought he was part of the family. Like I actually thought, right, right. yeah, and I didn't know he was the kid yeah. across the street. Yeah. yeah, he was actually, um, he was actually supposed to be. He was supposed to do like one episode, but then the mm -hmm. audience like really um, yeah. loved his character. Okay. But here's here's a, a backstory to that. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, because mm -hmm. Family Matters was originally a uh, spinoff. I, I forgot which yeah. show it was, but, yeah, but, but it was really supposed to be uh, Harry, Harry. Harriet. Yeah. yeah. So the mother, the mother. My favorite mom. Yeah. Mom, yeah, yeah. Favorite yeah. TV mom. So, yeah. 100%. But um, I believe like the first season, like the first mm -hmm. 11 episodes, it really didn't do well in the ratings. Right. Like, if you know, it's like in the first season, like the first 11 episodes, um, mm -hmm. Steve Urkel wasn't in the yeah. first 11 episodes, mm -hmm. so it really like all the episodes were like catered to like Carl, um, right. mm -hmm. Eddie, yeah, Eddie, yeah, like Will. family, yeah, mm -hmm. like the ratings were like tanking, Very, were, like, uh, tanking. then it comes yeah. Steve Urkel doing this, like, um, did I do that? Did and, I do Destroying, destroying like the house yeah. and being clumsy. Clumsy. And clumsy. That was well that. Like the mm -hmm. audience was that. Then they brought him to like the rest of the season and yeah. he became like a, a yeah. cat member. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing to see like how that worked. Like he wasn't yeah. intended. And he yeah, he became, became like, like a phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, uh, of course, it draws a lot of influence from what came before it, the Cosby show, like, how did you think the Cosby show, Deep Future Mall, impacted family matters? Do you think there could be a family matters if the Cosby show was an out before? Right. The Cosby show, uh, I came, hmm. The Cos yeah, yeah, Cosby show really opened the door for a lot of, like, black family shows. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it definitely opened the door for like family matters and um, mm. fresh friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, Bill Cosby. Yeah, we have to like get him his flowers. Yeah. I want to talk about his. You know. Yeah, yeah. We're separating like the artist from right. the from the yeah. uh, okay, that personal stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. Cosby show really like yeah. open doors for a lot of your favorite like. Family yeah. shows, black family shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot. A lot of the um, uh, artists, a lot of the um, notable actors who are in the nights from like Living Single, Living Color, and yep. uh, they all appeared. Mine, um, what was it? Uh, uh, Paul, um, Cole, Cole appeared in Cosby Show, Tanisha. Yeah, it's Rouch. Yeah, it's Rouch. Yeah, you remember it? So, like, Cockroach, many, many. So I, I do see from see. I'm, I'm not gonna be honest. I'm not seeing the full episodes of Cosby because again, before our time. Same. Yeah. So. No. Same. Uh, mm -hmm. My family matters. Like yeah. Cosby Show and Family Matters. I haven't seen like the full run. Yeah. Because yeah. they have so many seasons. Many. That's a lot of seasons to, like catch up on. I swear, yeah. So it's like just not had time to go back and uh, even on syndication. And I don't know what it was. It was just very hard for me to uh, yeah. get it. But it made just be the errors, like in the 90s and uh, I was 80. Yeah, I just yeah. know the notable episodes. Like, exactly. Like you yeah. should know. Yeah, of course, of course. All right, so yeah. So G.K. Jamal talked about like the impact of Steve Urkel. What do you think of Jillian White? As an, as an actor, yeah, because he's very different opinions you get from people. I want to hear yours, I, future Jamal, you're going to get mine. <laughs> man, Jalel White, man. Hey, Jalel. Hey, he, he was, he was kind of, he was the face of the 90s. Like, you got to yeah. give Jalel White his props. Like, mm. he, he, 
Same like Will, like he was the face of the nineties, like yeah. like Family Matters was on T J S, like Yeah. Yeah. And, like a yeah. great yeah, lineup. Yeah. And once yeah. this Urkel um character yeah. took off. Mm -hmm. Jalil had more projects, like if you don't know, Jalil White also was a voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, mm -hmm. like there's Three Sonic Hedgehog cartoons yeah. in the nineties. In the nineties, yeah, yeah, he he took on he took on Urko and Sonic at the same time. Yeah, like mm -hmm. like yeah. during the nineties. So. Yeah. yeah, but Jalil yeah. White, he's very talented. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. I think he's versatile. I, I wish he got. I know we probably want to talk more about this. And that. Yeah, so I, wish, I wish he got more roles. Like yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that, that's like, exactly. I guess it. That's the right word. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as I said, we're gonna go more into that. Uh, towards Get to the curse. Yeah. Having a popular character. Yeah, for sure, man. And especially because it was um because uh for the people who have maybe not seen Family Man, the Family Man has lasted for nine seasons. So yeah. again, it was very. I think the only other sitcom around this time that was that lasted this time was Seinfeld. I think Seinfeld yeah. was like around nine seasons also. So imagine this in the nineties it was very rare to have a black sitcom to last even over right. five seasons. Uh Fresh right. Prince was six, Martin was five, Living Single was five, Williams yeah. Brothers, which we <laughs> we both have fond memories about, you only lasted yeah. five. <laughs> yeah, Family Matters um was on a very like mainstream channel, ABC, yeah. Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight yeah, so it's very hard for like black shows to get on like back yeah. in the nineties, so exactly. While of our shows don't last maybe the first season. Yeah. You might be lucky if we come back the second year. Oh my gosh, man. That that is a that is an episode for another hey, time. Hey, that's off for more season, G. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. If you make it, if you made it past season two, like right, okay, you, you didn't make the cut. You didn't make the cut, like for the, uh, like like the basketball team. Like I was gonna say, either you was the varsity it. team or you're the varsity. Like, yo, bro, this is this is a, wait, we're gonna talk about this after. This is my my word. Word. It's true. But it's true. It's true. Yeah. It, it, it's cold out there. Let's just say yeah. it's cold it's out there. Out there. Man, <laughs> <laughs> Terry Tower, man. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we we give it we give her uh, we give kind of say props like yeah. that, man. Going like uh, the distance and getting nine seasons, uh, and as GQ said, uh, Steve Urkel was the face of the night. He was pretty much um, man. I put him in even the boy as like um, the mother child actors like Macaulay Culkin. Of mm -hmm. course, from the Home Alone, dominated yeah. the 90s, you can even put, um, who else is there? Maybe I was thinking of, uh, Amanda, not Amanda, Amanda Vines, yeah, the one from the Amanda show, yeah, before. before. Yeah, I mean, before. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda Vines is more like 2000. Yeah. 2000, like, yeah. Thousand, like, but, possibly, yeah. yeah. I was thinking with Keenan and Kel, they lumped in yeah. that. I think yeah. the little was more bigger than Man of Bind. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yes, yes. Honestly. Yes, perfect. Yeah. So, all right. What What did you feel? Okay, so Jill White, of course, the main. Okay, what I think the secondary main character, main actor from that has to be Carl. Played by Reginald Van Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think of him being the dad? Because Chico Jamal Pacheco's channel did a cool uh, <laughs> post about like the favorite dads from the yeah. sequels are there. How does Carl rank? Um, yeah. Yeah, we might as well just talk about the characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, what I think about Carl, Carl is either because, you know, Fresh Prince and Family Matters came on at the same exact time. Hey, Carl and Uncle Phil, when it comes to, like, TV dads, especially, you know, black TV dads, mm -hmm. hey, there was a good reputation. Mm -hmm. Like, Carl, Carl, big guy, but he was a um, family man. He's, yeah. his husband, he's husband first, mm -hmm. father, 
police officers. Yeah. He has like a lot of like like yeah on the titles. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of titles. Mm -hmm. And um, Carl was just hey, Carl was just funny. Mm -hmm. He overreacts, but but you know he, he's loving. He's strong. Um, a I don't blame Carl one bit. He has like high blood pressure because hey, he has yeah. to take. You know, he's a husband. He's a father. Yeah. Plus, he has an annoying ass neighbor kid <laughs> that just walks in yeah. whenever yeah. he wants, and yeah. you know, it's high. You know, his blood pressure is like yeah. off the charts. Like, there's even an episode where he like faints, like. Yeah, you know what? Oh gosh, Ooh, you can see his eyes. Like great actor, the way he's like Randy Bell. Oh, too much, man. I'm dealing with these kids, and then I got this annoying. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> I, got... I think his mom lived with his mom lived with him. Yeah, yes, yeah. the grandma. Yeah, yeah. He was there. Oh, hey, yeah. Carl. Hey, I don't blame Carl being stressed. Like having high blood pressure. Yeah. Get out of my house! Like get out, get out, get out! <laughs> and what, what did you think about that relationship? Because you see, even later on in seasons, they tried yeah. to put them as the focal point. Like you had episodes where it was just Carl and Steve, yeah, and like the other cast members were in the back. What did you think of yep. that, like dynamic between Rachel and Jalil? Hey, I think they all had a great relationship, like. All the cats had like a great relationship, but when it comes to like Carl and Steve, Carl really, as much Steve Urkel, you know, was annoying and noxious and mm -hmm. just does the most, Carl treated Steve like like one, one of his own, like, mm -hmm. like, like, like that was his son, like, even though mm -hmm. he's not his, but he treated mm -hmm. like that was his own, like, he yeah. even looked out for Steve. For sure, yeah. yeah. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, that vibe was always great. Like, his, yeah. like he wasn't actually like legitimate part of family, but he felt like that. And like, we never seen Steve, Steve's parents. Never, never, never. 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 He and not one glimpse, not even a photo, not even a photo. Right. He's parents. Hey, I know the Winslow's insurance is sky high. Like, <laughs> insurance. I know they got their contractor on deck. Like, yeah. on C now. Like, hey, <laughs> like, Steve just broke. Steve just destroyed my garage. Um, like, hey, I need you to come here ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, <laughs> do you remember as well? There was a time he burst through the window. He, he like, crashed through the window uh, in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> They, they fell through the roof. They fell. <laughs> they they uh, tore down the roof. Yeah. The roof yeah. collapsed or something like that. And yeah. There was like an episode where, um, I think Carl like fell on Steve. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Carl yeah. Was like get out of my house and, and you never to step foot in this house. Yeah. Steve left and he turned around after he heard Carl say like you never allowed in my house. He was like. Yeah. What did you say? Hey. Like, yo, <laughs> Steve was about to act shit, bro. <laughs> hey, this dirty kid was about to act. It was not it. Yeah. Hey, he had to. Hey, he had to come back, so yeah. Kinda like, G. <laughs> hey, the way he be like just insulting the Waldo. What? Waldo Faldo. Waldo Faldo. Waldo Faldo. Oh my gosh! Right, right. All right, he. Follows a pattern of the not so bright characters. Right. And I, you have Cole from Martin. You could probably even put Roger from Sister Sister. Yo. Go home, Roger. Who else? Oh, go home, Roger. Go home, Roger. Like, yeah, he felt like that one who just wasn't, it wasn't about it. Like, they just treated right. them like very low. And what the photo was just, uh, I love these high I love that high tone, right. honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you. Yeah, go ahead. I just noticed something that, like, when you said that, hey, man, we, like, the black sitcoms, we, we just created a trend, like, there's a, we always have that trend of that annoying, um, neighbor kid, like, mm -hmm. Steve Urkel was, said that trend, then, right. 
then you were going to see Roger being that annoying mm. kid and that um, Tyler from hanging with Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, Tyler, yeah. yeah. Even if you go towards 2000, Frank. you didn't even say Franklin. Yeah, you yeah, were going to say from my life and kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Kel, and Kel. Kel. Kel was that annoying yeah. Never I, but... do love so, uh, <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, what a photo was, the person he still is, the best friend to Eddie, played yeah. by Darius McCray. Darius McCray. Darius McCray. Darius. Was that your first time seeing uh, uh, yep. Darius? That was right. Yep. Family matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another um I know Darius um he has other projects that's a family matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um go see Kingdom Come. That that that's yeah. a good movie. Hey, mm -hmm. he was hilarious right. in that movie. Right? Okay, yeah. right. Folks and Brittany, right. check out Kingdom Come. Hello, Darius okay. Anthony Anderson, Vivica um, Fox. Yes. Uh Jada Toxic Smith. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm sorry, that's, David. That's that's official, David. No, you know, just yeah, like you got yeah, you, you, know, you, you just <laughs> that's a problem. If you got a problem with it, you can do a number of type of way. Rich Resby, G. Kimball, Jamal, you said it here. Rich Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Mm. There's a very very talented actor. Yeah. Um, mm. um. My first time seeing Darius was on Family Matters. Okay. Um, Eddie was just. This cool big brother. Yeah. Um. He um. I know in the early seasons, I don't. I'm not sure if he was like. He was an average student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was an average student. Um. Just very relatable, you know. Yeah. Big, tall. Big, like girls. Uh, yeah, like girls. Yeah. Um, in yeah. sports. Yeah. Trying to get money, hustling. Not, but he was, it, but, um, he was in a negative stereotype. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a job. He he wanted to even towards the end. He wanted to follow the footsteps of his father and become a yeah. cop, just like him. So yeah. Yeah, I'm, but I'm even thinking about this character. He kind of got messed up in these couple of episodes. Like, sure. remember when the dragons beat him up? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Ah, oh, man, it, it goes on. As I said, I want to leave this more for later, but there's a lot. When we talk about hit and misses, there's a lot of misses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, um, my favorite, my favorite, um, Eddie moment was when, um, there was a season one episode. Okay. Um, Steve was getting bullied. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they were getting bullied. And, um, yeah. he was about to get, like, you know, beat up. Then Eddie mm -hmm. came to the rescue. Then the bully tried to fight Eddie. Yeah. He missed. And Eddie just, like, gave him one of those. Yeah. Chong. He went, put yeah. Chong like this. Hit him in the stomach. Like, yo. <laughs> it's, it's, it's over here, homie. Yeah. All right. So it's like both of us. I'm good. <laughs> you got that too. <laughs> Wait, hey, what's up now, partner? What's up, partner? What's up now, partner? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so Eddie Award of Fondo, allegedly, and I think of the main supporting cast, I think last but not least would be Laura. We talked about Harriet, there is, of course, Rachel, Richie. Yeah. yeah oh, Harry. um, Harriet. Oh, real, real quick about Harriet. Like, like, um, yeah. yeah, Harriet was. Probably like my top five favorite like right. TV moms. Right. Um, very supportive, very loving. Mm -hmm. Always had calls back. You know, mm -hmm. um, didn't care how like Carl looked because you know Carl kind of like short, yeah, kind of heavy set, but it's actually she looked really past that. That's, we should that's past that. Yeah. Same yeah. with like Vivian and uh, Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil, and right. and Uncle Phil. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Right. That's where this uh, the shows are reminiscent. Um, especially when you look at the pops and ma, uh, very similar as well. And there's even a scene, there's um, I mean, maybe it's an outtake where uh, James Avery, God rest his soul, he actually comes into the family. Yeah, matter. Was, <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, family matters. Fresh, fresh yeah. crossovers. 
Oh, that was fun. I, it would have been nice if there was more episodes of, um, like, Steve appearing in Fresh Prince or uh, Will appearing in Family Matters. That would have been dope. Right. Okay, and what's on is, what do you think? What did you think of Laura? Because Laura was the same age as Tatiana Lee Ashley. Right? I think they were similar ages. Yeah, like, yeah, what did you think of, like, her as the. You can say the Laura, name. Laura, Laura, Laura. Yeah, yeah. Hey. For those who. Hey, I, I review Family Matters. I, I, yeah. hey, for those, when you, when you listen to this episode, when it comes out, for, if, if y'all, for my subscribers say, like, no me, no, I can't right. stand Laura, bro. Laura oh, was one right. of the most right. annoying characters <laughs> of all black sitcoms. Like, I'm sorry. I even watched yeah. the episode today. Like, yo, like, she did not deserve, I'm sorry, she did not deserve to I'm Well, no, no, that I 100% agree. She friend zoned him to mm -hmm. the max. Honestly, all those bold stuff he said, mm -hmm. and all the heroic times he saved her, and he just. Ooh, yeah. 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 Like, see, yeah, and see, what this girl, like, see, being a simp, I'm like, man, like. <laughs> he had the suit card. <laughs> he did not update his wallet. <laughs> oh my gosh. He did not update his wallet. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even think I seen Steve with a wallet throughout the whole series. Like, yo. Oh, yeah, I don't. He didn't, he didn't update his pocket protector. You pocket protector, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> handkerchief. Handkerchief. Oh my god. He had these like uh two three pairs of glasses. He's like a three pairs. Oh, oh. Steve. But I one thousand percent agree with you. Like Steve from the moment like love this girl since they were kids. Right. Grew up and she uh yeah, she didn't show him any Real only really when the change when we're gonna talk about this here, but when Steve changed, mm -hmm. uh, like character, well, he was Steve, but he changed to um Stefan, which we'll talk more about later. That's when she started right. to be like, okay, yeah, Steve, yeah, Steve had a whole, Steve had two girls, yeah, and still uh, wanted Laura, yeah. I man, maybe I'm I don't know if I'm the only one in this. I actually preferred Myra. Monk how then uh Laura yeah. like I I already see I think she was more fine but also she liked Steve for Steve. Yeah, yeah. like he didn't have to change and that's the ones you need, like just like mm -hmm. you genuine genuinely mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like yeah. like even though Mara was like kind of like aggressive. But yeah. he liked it, Steve. He yeah. liked to see for Steve. And Laura, on the other hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Steve was uh, she, He's one of those ones I don't... Yeah, unappreciated. But in... Yeah. I saw this in the later seasons when she started to change her hairstyles. Yeah. And it's like she didn't really know what she wanted. Like, one minute she wanted Steve, then she wanted Stefan. Yeah. Then yeah. when Stefan was the way she was dating over... Got, yeah. Bringing them to the house. As well, so <laughs> so I think she was never satisfied. Like, yeah, she was never satisfied. <laughs> never. Yeah. So I, I can agree. I, I would definitely say I appreciate Tatiana Ashley mm -hmm. more than Laura for a hundred percent. I've been characters like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Go ahead. You can say Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, right. So those are the main characters. There was also Richie and the mo um Richie's mother Rachel. Is it Rachel? Yeah. Rachel, yeah, Richie. I, yeah, go. Oh yeah, yeah. I I did um I did some research about Rachel. Um right. I know Rachel was in like the first four seasons and she um the actress who played Rachel went off and did another show. Right. That's why she left Family Matters. Right. Uh, I never understood, like, as a kid, like, yeah. why is Rachel only there for, like, the first few yeah. seasons? And she's, like, there, like, yeah. Like, as a guest star. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I didn't know she was part of the main cast until I started to see a regular. I was like, oh, okay, she's actually part of the main family. I was like, right. what? 
Honestly, yeah. And then the kid, the kid was Rich. still, Richie was still there when Rich went. Yeah, yeah, yeah Richie. Did. But then there was the there was another kid. I don't know her name. She was um, one. Of, dude, oh, yeah. Um, I didn't really care for Richie. Right. And, and it's sad what happened about Judy. Like Judy was like an original cast. Okay. And then um, then she left like after the fourth season. Right. And I guess because she was a young child, a young child star, and, oh, and right. I guess it had something to do with like her parents were involved. Like, you know, uh, okay. She wanted her more to get more speaking roles, and they just right. her off, and she never came up. Came from downstairs. Yeah, she, she, she only stayed. <laughs> she had an extended vacation upstairs. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it was never mentioned again. Again. Yeah. Poof. Just gone. Like after that as well. And I know um uh that kid. I think it's Orlando. Orlando. Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown. Yeah. yeah well, that's so. The that folks who that's probably know from That's So Raven. Ooh. Oh man! Ooh. If you type Google and type his name now, oof! Oh man! Oh, no, those images are a bitch, bro. Yeah. Oof. But that, and yeah. um, that's what happens when you're a ch- child, child star, with yeah. no guidance. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, like, thank God, thank God, I'm in such a little white, and mm-hmm. uh, even Macaulay Culkin, regardless of what you say, kind of like turned his life yeah. around. Like, it's just tough. Right. Uh, yeah, so and I, there was episodes where Kyla Pratt uh, from One on One, she appeared in uh, numerous episodes. Right. I think some she played, uh, I think it was the same character where she appeared a lot. But that's pretty much the ensemble of the characters. What did you think of the setting? Because, of course, Fresh Prince, California, Beverly right. Hills, <laughs> Rich. <Yeah. laughs> what did you think of this being in? Chicago. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the Windy City. Uh, the Windy City. The Windy City. I think, um, <laughs> I think, um, the set, the set was nice. Hmm. The set was, they had the whole set uh, throughout the nine seasons, other, yeah. other than the Fresh Prince, mm-hmm. like the first season. And my mom said the first season of Fresh Prince say is ugly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the first season of Fresh Prince set was it was yeah rough. It was, it was rough. rough. I'm glad they changed. Um, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked it looked way back in time. Like he's yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I we talked about this before. I'm not a huge fan of the first season of Fresh no. Prince. Someday your Fresh Prince, uh, in effect, that's probably the greatest episode in sitcom history. Right. I will go to watch that, but the other episodes, GQ, Mad yep. Mad, I do not watch first season of Fresh Prince. Right, right. I like, mm-hmm. like Fresh Prince. Um, like if we watch like the first half of the um, first season, pure is gold, pure gold. But mm-hmm. like the second half was just yeah. boring. Mm-hmm. Like until you get to like the. Uh, um, Later, like the last few episodes. Last few episodes, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, that's when the show that's starts good. to like pick up. Right? Really yeah, I, 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 like you, I, I skipped the first season. Oh, like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. even with Family Matters, I skipped the first season. Like, first I'll watch season. maybe the episode when Urkel's on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I skipped like the beginning of the beginning. Yeah. I, 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 can't even, I can't even tell you like what. It, a pilot episode about no I know, I, I know Harry gets a job. Yeah. But yeah, I I, I can but I cannot know run it down. I can't even yeah, run down like Yeah. Oh no, it's not because as you said they took the inspiration from Harriet. Because Harriet mm-hmm. was on that other sitcom and Yo. focused on her, but I don't remember the first thing. God. I I probably know one episode is when right. Carl um uh, Arrested this um celebrity. Okay. Um, like the celeb- like the celebrity was like kind of like an asshole, uh, okay. but he was like sure. God Almighty right. on camera. But mm-hmm. yeah, the ap- yeah, I can I can barely like I can't. Yeah. Tell you 
in the episode. Oh, this, yeah. Nah, yeah, first nah, season. Nah. It's tough, it's tough. I would say the rewatchability of, like, the first season, even some of the seasons after, I have to admit. Yeah. It, I don't know, Rich, like, yeah. when it comes to, like, family matters, I probably go to, like, season four. Right. Same. Season four, season five. Or, yeah. Yeah. I just watch season four, season five, maybe season right. six. Then I just stop watching it. I stop it. Yeah. I just stop. Ah, it's just a, do do you think because like somebody because Fresh Prince you could say the episodes were ran they were random but they still had a continuing kind of feel yeah. more where family members I think the episodes are just too random at times right. and there's no it's not feel. relatable yeah. right not relate well, keep in mind and I and I um researched it too family matters they have black Writers. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, See? it's the same thing. Yeah. ABC. Malcolm and Eddie had this issue. Um, mm -hmm. Eddie Griffin talked about this extensively. Yeah. There was white writers writing for black actors. Yeah. They didn't know what's up. So. Yeah. Like you, 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 you can like watch the episodes and yeah. you can just like look at the lean on my. Did they really just say that? Like, yeah. like it came off cheesy. Yeah, that's what, oh, she cute, man. When I, <laughs> I just, <laughs> no, this is not best she said we said it. I, cheesy is the best way to describe, yeah. like, the series. Yeah. Honestly, cheesy. Yeah. Just at times, it's just like, oh, this show, because the audience laughed at anything, like, the laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, oh, I, uh, I know we're like kind of early in this episode, like in this episode. But I compare Family Matters to Stay by the Bell. Oh, good comparison. Good comparison. Yeah. Ah. Much, it's not a strong. I'm sorry. It's not a strong sitcom. Like I know it has nine seasons, but yeah. Family Matters was inconsistent. Very, very. You mentioned it earlier. It was the uh, <laughs> the relatability. I just, I don't, I cannot relate to any of the characters in this series. No, no, no. not at all. No, leave it to me. like the only Eddie. character I can like Eddie. somewhat relate. Yeah, but no, Carl. Oh, oh, he's like, let him edit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eddie and, um, Harriet. Harriet, yeah. Other like, yeah. Like, no. Yeah. And That's I'm it. not knocking Family Matters by no, you know, all the means. Like, <laughs> you love Family Matters, A. Hey. Yeah. To each their own. To each their own. <laughs> right. I believe we both mentioned this on our reviews on YouTube. We both, we came to that conclusion. All right, it's an iconic show. We were yeah. phenomenal. But yeah. Weight of the show is not strong. It is all. not like if it wasn't for yeah. Urkel, this show would not last. Yeah, it would it, not last. It would not. It's an average. I, my wife and kids is more of a stronger show than Family Matters. Absolutely. Oh, those free seasons of my wife and kids, like yeah. oh, like like I can I can yeah. like run down the episodes yeah. of my life to be easy, but I can't. Very really hard, really very hard. hard. I was tired. I man, when we do the introduction, I had the DVDs. If you check my reviews on YouTube, I got the DVDs, so I had the first yeah. four seasons. And I'm telling you, it was always a struggle. I, I tried to just binge watch it Christmas time. After yeah. a while, I would just say, "Let me change it to Living Single." or which we were the boy and I was like, mm. Yeah, I had the uh, first I had the first DVD of Family Matters too. Right. And that was just a that Family Matters was just a show just to go to sleep to. Like, sure. I just yeah. pop it on, like let yeah. me fall asleep then yeah. wake up, title screen is on, press play, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go back to sleep. <laughs> hey, the only hey, the only good about Family Matters is the theme song. Yeah. 
theme song. Yeah. The theme song. That's... <laughs> I'm gonna the microphone blew it. <laughs> he was like, honey, like, okay, when I know that, I'm like, okay. So when he shows the skyline, of like, course. <laughs> yeah, it was nice seeing the skyline. For someone who's never been to Chicago, seeing that skyline, I'm like, yeah. okay, this is, this is cool. When you get to the show, though, when the intro is over, you get to the show. Like, what? <sighs> like, what is going on? Right. Uh, cheesy. That's, that's that it same was. by the bell vibe. I, uh, and I grew up with Saved by the Bell. 90, 94, 95. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. It's good. It's good. What is it? Okay, all right. For, I felt. There was one saving grace with Family Matters, and I watched this episode uh, just yesterday. The, uh, the introduction with Steve, he had, he said, I, I, "Enough of this! Like, I'm tired of being a nerd. I'm tired of being a dork. I'm gonna do right. something." Steve, with all his genius, he developed the formula to change mm -hmm. himself from nerd to cool, and we yeah. get the introduction to yeah. Stefan or Kel. Your yeah. thoughts? GQ or Stefan or Kel? My thoughts are Stefan or Kel. He was just the uh, complete opposite of Steve. He was a smooth ladies' man. And um, flavor, yeah, swag. Um, outfits were on point. Um, he started off as a jerk, kind of, a little bit, but then he changed. Yeah. But, yeah, Stefan. Yeah, Stefan, Stefan really, like, um, changed, like, show. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because, it, yeah, even to add on that, would you, like, Steve, he was kind of doing what, like, Martin did, or he yeah. was playing, Steve, Jalil White was playing yeah. multiple characters in right. the series. Stefan was, like, one of the main recurring ones, but he played, uh, oh, my gosh, he played... Steve's cousin, the murder oh, oracle. Oh, oh murder, man. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, murder, murder, murder oracle. <laughs> he, murder, played Bruce, he played Bruce I, Lee. I could not stay murder. that character. Oh, man. With a sub yeah. and axe, man. Real. Yeah. So he played Myrtle. I saw he, he played Bruce Lee. He played Elvis. Oh, uh, he may have played a Power Ranger. Uh, he played James <laughs> Brown. <laughs> um, oh, huh. multiple, like multiple. I mean, um, yeah. OG D, no, OG, OG D, or yeah, whatever. The the gangster, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> was, hey, that character, I know that character was thinking it was kind of funny. It was funny, yeah. All right, I, man. That's that's when you know the show was like. It was coming to a close. Yeah, was that coming character came like at the yeah. last season or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell it's inspired by the the gangster films um, that were prominent at that right. time. Which I think that would spark rage. And that's come to think about that so too. Like that so cheesy too because yeah. the guy that he was running from. The villain's name was uh, Squeeze. Squeeze. I'm like, man, like really, uh, like really. Like, I roll my, I, I, I roll my eyes when I when I saw you. Actually, like, yeah, I was, well, like, come on, please. And I was, so yeah, yeah. But Stefan, here's my screw with Stefan. I same. I feel he was very. Yeah, his swag was on like another like level. Like when he came in that room the first time, and he's like, uh, he comes in, and the girl, <laughs> she screamed and thrown it to his arm. Yeah. Then he does the like, he does the forbidden dance with Laura, and then the forbidden dance. The forbidden dance. He does the lapada. He does the lapada. Like that's the forbidden dance. He was he was super smooth. I <laughs> wish I wish he had appeared in more episodes. 
that's what I just wish or because this is where I feel like again the cheese comes to it. They he makes the machine that now there's the Steve and a Stefan. Like he yeah. cloned them and I was like, This is getting very sci fi right. for a sitcom and I was just like I, I just feel like in the beginning when Stefan came I thought that was a cool like plot device. Right. Like he could be the nerd and change the cool which I thought they would carry that on. Yeah. But then it just changed. And as you said, like, the farm became less interesting. Then Laura yeah. kind of was like, uh, let, me, let me call another. Uh, right. <laughs> like this. So he lost a lot of momentum as the wow. season went. Yeah. That's when you know the show is just. Yeah. It, like, it, it just ran its course. Yeah. And I also was going to say, like, um, I think for that show to be on ABC, that was just a, like a fake show. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, Family Matters wasn't edgy at all. I mean, yeah. it was just. Yeah. Very safe. Yeah. Very safe. Yeah. I mean, they did it. I mean, Fresh Prince had episodes where he talked about sex, he talked about racism, he talked about drugs, he talked about. Yeah. Uh, family drama, like your dad leaving. Um, yeah, real stuff. Like, you, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family Man's had probably like maybe one or two, maybe three episodes that was like okay, it was kind of serious, like right. race. When yeah. Eddie got racial profiled and right. done episode, which yeah. I did not care about that <laughs> episode. Yeah, I even skip. I, right. it's like I even skip those episodes. Like, yeah, I, like you know, um, yeah. Family Matters wasn't edgy. It, yeah, she, it was just cheesy. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Do, do you think? Do you think it's, as we spoke on the anime series, do you think it's one of them that you could appreciate as a kid? That when you come back as an adult, you're like. Ah, do you think it's yeah. one of them? Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> I feel. I'm like, whenever I'm family, I'm like, trust me. So, especially in Erko, like, Erko became a, like a negative, like, right. insult, like, like, yeah. if you're black yeah. and you're like, Hmm. You're not the uh, thuggish, yeah, yeah, like uh, gangster, yeah, like negative stereotype. Hmm. People will call you Ergo, like you're a nerd, like yeah. yeah. That became like a narrow, that became a negative yeah. um, yeah, yeah. insult. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think, and then you even even branch on that GQ Jamal you said about your little why. I I think. Of all the actors who play the character, I think that um, negatively impacted Jalil from yeah. maybe really progressing on uh, past the series. Because I think they yeah. always possibly only saw him as Steve uh, yeah. with the suspenders and that. Yeah, yeah he's crazy. Uh, they they were like, like Carlton. Carlton, yeah. Father yeah. Bird Bur- Bur- I yeah. think he was. Podcast mm. too, like I've done, yeah, he's been, Carlton. Carlton. Um, even uh, Christopher Duncan who plays Braxton, Jamie yeah. Butcher, the same. Right. Yeah, they just only could see him as that guy. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's tough. So, fortunately, Jaleel White just fell into that um yeah. that category, of, like one of yeah. like the characters who. He played that corny character. Yeah. Just, That's uh, and, yeah. Because yeah, it's just sad because he's more than he's more than that. He he was a voice actor of Sonic. He, uh, Sonic, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. sure he has range. Yeah. He, he just, it just yeah. unfortunately he was just podcasting. Yeah, yeah. So it's just really sad. Again, yeah, playing it for that extensive amount of time. Uh, you know, you know, and he was good at basketball. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted that. He played in, yeah. all right, they they just had the All-Stars uh, yeah. basketball game. They had the one in the ninth. They had um, um, uh, Will Smith, Alfonso Ribeiro, Jaleel White. Um, mm-hmm. They had many, and he's a good basketball player. He can, yeah. 
He got a game. Do you know why it can do? Yeah, do you know because of playing in a sports movie? Yeah, I was nice. He could have been Calvin Cambridge. Calvin, he could have. Nah, nah, never mind. I know, you ready? Wait. Yeah. But I feel he could have been like, because, man, this is even another topic, another good, like, topic to discuss. Like, even, I'm being up in a different world, um, uh, Dwayne. Yep. Okay, Dame Hardison, you could mm-hmm. say in the early episodes he was a nerd. Like, yep. in the beginning, he was trying to get all these girls and they just had no time for him, but he slowly developed into like a responsible, you know, man. He becomes a, a teacher in the school. So you got like more respect for him than when you see Steve, who, when you first introduced to the last season, who grows up with the suspenders, the I'm going to destroy everything in the environment and he just he stays the same and he doesn't really go he doesn't go for oh is that right yeah, yeah. just ended off with the two i remember that i kind of i said yeah. i kind of remember the finale like mm. it was it it ended tv like, like yeah 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 only when you kiss me like only yeah when you kiss me on my and, uh, the ninth season. Now she was ninth season. Yeah. And they he going to space. Yeah. He I'm yeah. They can see this stuff. It's, uh, it's just like yeah. <laughs> when you see this, I'm telling because if you and, and this is for the people listening, if you watch an episode of Family Matters, then you see like uh, what was it, the transformation chamber, and yeah. like Steve works, and you'll be like, is this? Anime or is this some type of sci-fi, um, right? Uh, like um, series or something. I, I honestly, I mean, it adds way too much of that. For no, no, no. More in Fresh Prince, it it had things more, in, and I, I'm so, I, I may sound redundant for always bringing them up, but I got to because they're at the same time. But it had that rawness. It had yeah. that relatability. Flavor. Yeah. Family matters on the other hand did not. And yeah. Yeah. It had a lot of potential, like yeah. it just unfortunately it just it just it's just like like you ever drink like pop and it's just carbonated. Carbonated, yeah. 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 As the best analogy I ever yeah. thought of. Like yeah. you ever just drink yeah, it just like it just tastes black. Like that is family matters. Yeah, that's it. There's no feeling like you watch it, you finish an episode just like, why did I really get out of this? <laughs> Nothing. Right. Really. Yeah. Honestly, and you say, okay, let me go on to the next episode, and it's just it. It just made me hard to say. It's meaningless episode. Right. That feel of a season, and there's no weight to really hold it. Like, no. I can, as I said, I can, oh man, I keep saying it, but if you tell me, I could run down numerous episodes of mine. If you tell me the first episode of mine, you tell yeah. me the last episode of mine, I can give you one. Yeah, I can run down 20 episodes of mine. Yeah. I cannot pick out <laughs> 10 episodes of Family Matters. Oh, family family. Family. <laughs> oh man, that. Yeah. Like, if you ever ask me what's my top five favorite. Family Matters episode. That was the next question. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. Like this is like the first time in Richard yeah. Rose's history yeah, that Rich you history. cannot think of a yeah. top five. Yeah. Like Family Matters moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I think when people do, I man, even on the truth, I'm not really seeing. Besides all of you, I'm not really seeing people do an in depth. Review of Family Matters. They'll talk about yeah. Steve Urkel, they'll talk about Steve yeah. Ron, but they don't really run down like the no. series. And as we've seen pretty much all the sitcoms from this side, right. we know where Family yeah. Matters ranks. Like, <laughs> we're keeping it 100. <laughs> oh, like, even my review, like, <sighs> my review of Family Matters was like 20 minutes long. Like, oh, I, I, I just talked about the characters. I, my thoughts on family matters is not really positive at all. Like, hey, 
they yeah and, it's, and i think it's echoed in this in this podcast right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mainly joke like yeah <sighs> like, yeah no real memories like when you say like okay the top move all right if we say movers yeah there's a handful but if it can it doesn't have that mm. Very it's like, expensive. it's like, no, nah, I, I can't, I can't, it's like, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Family matters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Matt, so, okay. Matt, maybe, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, we're not going to do it like a top five, like, favorite moments of fair. What are your pros and cons? What, what are your pros and cons? Pros like, and cons, okay, yeah, right, right. right. Pros is definitely Jill White. Uh, yep. His acting ability to play these multiple characters and to uh, have withstand this uh, whole amount of seasons, like yeah. he's definitely a plus. Harriet, of course, the first Harriet, because I forgot to mention the yeah. replacer. <laughs> another, oh man, that's another trend of like black sitcoms. Like, <laughs> why is it the thing? Like, okay. The dark tone, like characters, always yeah. getting played by like a light skin, like tone character, like actor or actress, yeah. like, I never like um, Claire from My Wife and Kids. Yeah. She started off dark skin, then yeah. she, she came back next year. She was light skin, yeah. and yeah, and this, yeah, but yeah. I, I never I, understood that trend. Yeah, maybe it was there some colorism. I'm not sure. Ha- um, Halle Berry, um. She famously mentioned this from our city hall. Uh, I'm not going too off but I'll say away a little <coughs> She was originally fired from Strictly Business because she was light skinned. They wanted a darker complaint. So I, I don't know how it all links, but it right. really depends who the uh, the producers right. of the show maybe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh Harriet throws um setting Chicago. <laughs> I'm really digging. I'm really digging. Oh, the intro. That's cool. I put the guest appearances. Um, yeah. because again, there were so many. Like oh, I can, yeah. man, I can't even name. Like we were talking about. I love the one when New Edition appeared yeah. in. Uh, when Bobby Brown uh, yeah. came in and that's the fun. That's probably the most memorable one. Mm-hmm. Um man, if we go in the cons, man, I'm oh, man. like I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna, <laughs> how much time was that? Oh man, I just think again, it's it's not it's not relatable. There is no there's no really like uh there's no real character to root for. Right. I, know. I feel like the episodes are meaningless. Even the music, yeah. especially when rap music was dominated at times, you never had that kind of rap vibe that mine or Fresh right. Prince had. You never had that. When I'm seeing like a Snoop Dogg or Biggie appear in mine, then you got like Heavy D and like, um, what was it? The influence of Money by Nature. Yeah. You never had that rap music in there. Um, uh, I felt like just some characters would just be appear- there and just disappear, like what happened with Richie's mom. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah no, I just, I'll just piggyback it, on what you said. Oh, yeah. It's it's a, yeah, no, I would say the cons, like, far outweigh the good of this show. It, it had potential. Right. I think the main thing is they probably had the biggest problem of just like saying, okay, this is a family man. This is show was originally about the family man, but Steve came in. Right. So maybe the potential, if they really wanted to grab that, they needed to just give Steve his own show and rename the, the series, like Steve Matters or... <laughs> Steve Matters. <laughs> Steve Matters. <laughs> You know what I mean, Jimmy? Because I think I think it's like a loss of identity. Identity when right. Steve comes, because it's not about the family when Steve comes in. It's it's really about how Steve's gonna get with Lauren, just following who he is, escapade. Right. Yeah. Oh, so my pros and cons. Um. 
the theme song, the theme song definitely is up there. Uh, one one of my favorite theme songs, Family Matters. Um, Carl Winslow definitely highlight of the Family Matters. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the relationship with um, Carl and um, Harriet. Yeah. Um, they might have like they might you know maybe argue, but they never like divorce. Mm. Um, they always come back strong. That's what that's what I appreciate about yeah. Carl and Harriet. Um, yeah, Steve Reckle yeah. saved this show. I mean, yeah, it was annoying, but he, he was funny. He was funny like early episodes, but he just came off annoying. Mm. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like special appearance, like. Yeah, that's pretty much the pros. Cons, mm-hmm. it was not consistent. Yeah. Cannot relate. Show didn't have going too much depth of like okay, like yeah, and what you said about like the side characters, like there's a lot of side characters, like mm-hmm. Judy Judy being gone for like you no, know, Judy was there for like the first three seasons, mm-hmm. four seasons mm-hmm. and she was never brought up again, yeah. and like um, the grandma was there, like for the first few seasons that she left, and yeah. she was here again. Same with Rachel, and Rachel. um, there's just a lot of inconsistencies. <laughs> um, episodes didn't even make sense half the time. Um. Some of the episodes, a lot of episodes are just TV, corny. Um, I, what else? I felt like they just drugged, they just drugged this show. Like, nine yeah. seasons. Nine, nine seasons, like, for what? Like, yeah. What? There's yeah. a lot of episodes, like, okay. Nine seasons, 22 episodes. 20. Like, some, like the earlier episodes have like 25, 26. That's a lot of episodes. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Sitting around was, the age. Yeah. And you could, it wasn't like, um, like my wife and kids, Fresh Prince, when usually like the season end, ended, there was always like this good like two part episode. Mm-hmm. Like in my wife and kids, they had the one when like Junior got and it's a pregnant. Like, I was like, oh, okay, this is teenage pregnancy. So it's like yeah. a, Real topic, yeah. and um, I'm thinking um, even Martin, where um, he said <laughs> because he got fired from the radio yeah. station, I'm gonna hit the road, and I was like, okay, it keeps you you're tuned to see the next right. season. Never, I mean, man, has never had no. that kind of groundbreaking episode. Never. Yeah, each season, like this season over, is just a random episode. Like, okay. <laughs> it, <laughs> Like we don't know what this season's gonna be, like Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, us as the viewers, I, I never cared. I cared when the last episode of First Fist came. When they sold the house to mention I <coughs> mm-hmm. I felt that because 'cause I'm like, I grew up with the show. I felt that right. I never had that connection with any of the right. whole nine seasons. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's dumb. This is, this is, I think mean, this is, it's dumb. <laughs> in retro history. And this is, yeah, we're, this is an hour and eight minutes. Yeah. Like, man. Family uh-huh. Ma- and I'm, I'm just going to leave it like, Family Matters was just a long filler show. So I'm just going to leave it at, at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's not too much. Cause you, if you were just talking about much. the days, like, it would be great. But, Philip, uh, all right, you, let me ask any question. Would you consider it like a time waster? Because we don't know. There's movies yeah. and there's even some series that have episodes you can be like, I can just put this on just to. Mm-hmm. I got something else to do, but I'm just going to put this on to waste time. Would you consider Family Matters as a time waster? Yeah, it was a, it was, yeah, it was a complete waste of time. Like, 
Like, even their lineup, their TGIF lineup, right. some of their shows are better than Family Matters. Like, Boy Meets the World was a better show. Yeah. Hanging with Mr. Cooper the first season was better than all eight, nine seasons oh. of Family Matters. Yeah. Um, Full House was yeah. kind of a better show mm-hmm. than Family Matters. Yeah. Even I, I can relate, like, yeah. <laughs> Full House and Family Matters. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you know, you would say when it comes to ranking, like the entire sitcoms of that time, it's pretty low. If we keep it real, like yeah. man, it's pretty low. I should mention Full House, I mean, Mr. Cooper, Boy Me Too. I could even put nine oh two. I don't even like the show nine oh two one oh. I never seen nine oh two one oh. I then I've watched an episode of that I. Still found interest in that. Yeah. Hard for me to say, but I could watch that. Cool. Yeah, it's there. But I agree. Um, what you mentioned earlier, I think just because the iconic, um, like of the character Steve Urkel, that's yeah. possibly what puts it. Right. Some of people know Steve Urkel from watching his clips on YouTube now or TikTok, but they've not really watched these cool episodes. Right. Like we have. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, really have that insight onto what we've seen on the series. Right. Yeah, so. <sighs> Family matters. <laughs> this was, hey, man. This, this was a tough episode. Like, really? This was yeah. tough. Uh-huh. Even even like making a promo video, just that was t- that was even tough to <laughs> make. Like, yeah. yeah, it's hard. Like when you because like I said, when you reminisce and you think of moments of family matters, I'm like, okay. And I mean, when you did the promo, like Stefano Kell first came, all right, that was a slamming yeah. moment. But it's few and far between. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, so, oh, man. So, I mean, I'm even going to round it off. <laughs> I'm going to bring it to a close. Uh, bring it to the close. Bring it to the close. Oh, I, man. I, I, I wouldn't it's so, to say that family matters was just, huh. <sighs> it was just one of the best 90s filler shows of all time. Amen. Even to that. Yeah. Uh, to the, the way, yeah, G. Kijimon described it. Filler. Nine seasons of filler. Uh, right. Yeah. I cannot. This is one of those times I can. I don't know if I can recommend it, like, fully, because I mean, like, man, because I'm like, okay, what, what is someone going to get from watching Family Matters? Nothing. You're not going to get anything from watching Family Matters. I'm sorry. It is not a top tier show. It's uh, not. <laughs> it's not strong at all. No. This is this is ESPN hot thing. Family Matters is it's, not a top tier show. You heard it, G Q J. Hey, that's my um, unpopular opinion yeah. in um Yeah. Yeah. I Because I was checking it. I checked the rankings of like top twenty five. Oh, like the six, like six months in there, and Family Matters is always like 15 or 19 in the list, and I'm like, and I was like, there's a point to this, like where it's like, I, it's a sister, sister, and rock, and like, um, what is it, of course, like, uh, Kim and Kel was even above the show. And I can watch Kim and Kel, like, I can, no. I can honestly say, like, I, I, all right, I can, Go through episodes of Keenan and Kyo. I'd recommend that. This show, man, again, unpopular opinion, like my man, you can do all that. I don't know if I can do it. It's flat soda. It's flat. Family Matters is flat soda. Yeah. Pop. Pop. You just get that safe air. It's like. uh, Uh, What's the the off brand Mountain Dew? The off brand of. Off-brand, uh, that would do. It. Yeah. Uh, what's the off-brand sprite? Um, 
Oh, um, so spark me, sparkling. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Okay, here, here it goes. Um, okay. Like Dr. Pepper. They were mad as Dr. Thunder. It's like, Dr. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There was, I, this is what I feel, there was no spark. There's like, no there spark. was no, there was no spark. No. <laughs> no, there was none. No. Yeah, 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 honestly. When I said earlier, GQ Jamal, like, I'm digging, you asked, you said, like, which moment from here? Even now, I'm still thinking, like, what else? Oh, man. And I said, and I, again, yeah. Oh, like, maybe five I'm sorry, I can't. Like, yeah. even like the best season, I can't even like pick out the best episode. Best episode. Like, yeah. if I, if, okay, I'll, I'll be nice. If, if you want to watch Family Matters, start off, start off, uh, season one, episode 12, where it comes in. Sure. Like, yeah. 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 Or watch season four, season five. That's, Probably like the best, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think moments of family matters, yeah. I think, um, we need the best. Day. <laughs> this is like the best episode just by the pool when Stefan first comes, just because yeah. of that moment, which is which again, he only comes at the end of the episode, like, this is like the last, the final 10 minutes, final eight minutes, I should say, something at the end, <laughs> and he reverts back to Steve. <laughs> 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 you see what we're dealing with here. <laughs> oh. Fine, but, but yeah, I'm not. Yeah, but if you love family, family yeah. matters, like by all means, like, hey, we're not trying to like knock knock yourself. We know what it did for like the mainstream like audience. Like it yeah. obviously had it. Yeah, yeah, great ratings. Like yeah. you know, for like nine seasons, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, must have been doing something. Like, right. I'm just gonna end this. I'm just gonna end this um take on Family Matters by the great Randy Jackson from American Idol. Yeah. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> it's a no for me, dog. Like, no. You you, you can't see no. you can't see folks because it's audio, but GQ Jamal even imitated, he replicated his movements. It's a no like, for yeah. me, dog. Even, even, it's a no for me, dog. Like. <laughs> Yeah. Pass. Pass. For me. Pass. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> family matters. Family matters. Cool. So, yeah. So, I mean, uh, you heard our take. Again, it's not the it's not the right take, but it's, <laughs> it's, but it's uh, not the wrong take. It's not the wrong take either. <laughs> um, I truly believe there's a lot of people who agree. Um, honestly, from the ones that again grew up from our era, they would be like, yeah. ah, there's a point. Uh, Richard and GQ Jabbar are spreading. So, yeah, I mean, we would love to hear your thoughts on Family Matters. Um, man. Get in touch with us on Instagram, uh, Richard Nineties, Cheeky Jamal, Cheeky Jamal. Get it. Follow us on our YouTube channels, Richard Z, Cheeky Jamal. Definitely. Yes. Yes. What I do, what I even do tonight, I'll post a picture of Family Matters on my community, okay. and, um, uh, YouTube community board. Right. I want to know y'all's thoughts on Family Matters because. Right. Yeah. Just because the retro brothers are insane, I will also Rich Man Z will be posting on yeah, the community yeah, we'll today. Yeah, we'll post it. Yeah, we'll, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, yeah. This is gonna be very interesting. Uh, yeah. What y'all think about it? Because, like, yeah. Honestly, this in this podcast, GQ. Even I feel like after this episode, I'm still gonna think about this even tonight. Like, man, family matters. It's like, you know, like, I, like, like, I'll go to HBO Max because the show's on HBO Max. And I'm just, okay, let me look at the episode list. Like, dang, like, I don't know what episode to watch. Because... Scratching your head. You're scratching your head like, okay, where do I start? Do I go forward? Do I go fight? Ah. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Now, y'all thought. 
Yes, let us know your thoughts. Um, yeah, we we all, we we enjoy doing these uh, <laughs> reviews, um, even ones we don't really recommend. But for sure, it's always a delight to go back right. to memory lane. Yes. So okay. So yes, as you said, we, um, what I will do as well on the so when you folks listen to us on Spotify. Um, even on the links, we will put like links in the description to our family manners reviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you post it, even on YouTube, as well, description below, you can find the channels and just a link to both of our family matters uh, mm -hmm. reviews. And yeah, I as I said, we're gonna <laughs> later post on our community cell and yeah, we're gonna right. hear your thoughts. <laughs> Any final words, GQ? Any final Take words? A Take a toe, man. Take a toe. Land the spaceship. Land <laughs> the spaceship. Hopefully, it won't be at the, you know, the Wizard's house. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, land the spaceship, man. We just landed the spaceship, baby bubble. You like just landed it, man. I, I remember it called for mine. We landed to the bubble. Baby bubble. Burning out. Oh man. Yeah, man. Crazy. <sighs> hey man. I know we did Martin and um versus fresh friends like yeah we have to do like a martin review or something oh yes no i think like, you i know it. we haven't done it yeah on the retro bro yeah. <laughs> yeah we got it you said later later yeah. later yeah. Man, man. Yeah. Yeah. Baby in the publishing yeah <laughs> well, and, and again it ties into man i don't want to give cards but just that moment that little clip of call in mind i'm like i can remember this when i'm like yeah. eight years old Fucking ever from Tommy Right. <laughs> but don't worry, y'all. We'll we'll review Maureen on that. Yes. Episode. And then don't, don't hey, worry about it. You heard that. You like heard that. Yes. I know we talk about Will Smith and uh Maureen a lot, but we like to do other shows and movies. There's a but but this is the regular brothers. We can talk about whatever we want. So yeah, you want. Oh, yeah. I got the yeah. Exactly. I love that. Like, we're very versatile. We got range. Yeah. It would be easy just to say, well, let's just review every episode of Mind of Fresh, which we would love to do, but we got to, like, have a variety. So right. I think it's a cool, as I said, it's a cool insight. Um, we at GQ, we're both super interested to hear your thoughts, especially on this one, of all the ones. This one, especially. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I man, I think that's 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 pretty much it. Um, as I said, we um all our social media links will be in the links below. Make sure you go subscribe to GQ Jamal. He's got his uh, as I said, great review on uh, Family Matters. Um, he's got plenty of like interesting reviews from back in the day. He also does movies, and he's got like, his new series coming now, which actually was a family matters. Right? Oh, it's actually snaps. It's just snaps. Right. It's just I'm just taking. I'm just doing like okay. doing some commentary on like uh, characters right. being mad, being irritated. It just <laughs> I'm just making random commentary. But yeah, but. Yes, look yeah, forward to that. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Rich Man Z's um, yeah. YouTube channel. Has a lot of he does similar uh, reviews just like me. He has a lot of amazing content, including travel blogs and mm -hmm. it's it's inspiration um Thanks. video. So go check his YouTube page out. Yeah. All right. See you, folks. That's. Uh, <laughs> That's uh that's us, the Thresher Brothers, um live and in li oh, family matters is still on my mind. Like right. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so yes, yeah, so stay tuned for the next episode of the Retro Brothers podcast with Trust Me Folks, which will be coming very, very soon. Until next time, folks, it's Rich Man Z and GQ Jamal.
We are the Retro Brothers, and we are out. Peace.